from English for today. It is unit 4 and lesson 7. You know that our today's unit is unit 4 and the title of the unit is people who make a difference. You can see the learning outcomes of this unit. Now we will learn the learning outcomes of today's lesson. After we have studied this lesson, we will be able to ask and answer questions, read and understand text, match multiple choice questions, write answers to questions, write short composition. So this is the learning outcomes of today's lesson. Dear students, in the previous class, you saw some pictures. In the picture one, we can see a woman cooking something in the yard. In picture two, you can see the members of a family are having their meal. In picture three, you can see a man carrying something on his head. In picture four, you can see a woman working in his yard. In picture five, you can see two girls playing and in picture six, you can see a woman working. So from this picture, it is clear that it is a family or the person of these pictures live in a village. Our today's lesson is The Homemaker Part 2. Before starting our lesson, we will learn some keywords. First one, favor, wildly, gratitude, and you will also see some other words here. Favor. Favor means advantage or benefit. Wildly. Wildly means in a way that lacks discipline or restraint. Gratitude. Gratitude means to show thankfulness or to show appreciation for and to return kindness. Tremble. Tremble means shake involuntarily, typically as a result of anxiety, excitement or frailty. Husking. Husking means the act of removing husk. Stick together. It means remain united or mutually loyal. So, dear learners, I hope the meaning of these words are clear to you. Now, we will move to our next slide. It is our lesson today. Read and try to find out why Nazma and Joinul are quarreling. So today we will read the text and we will try to find out why Nazma and Joinul are quarreling. Let us start our today's lesson. On day, Joinul looked for work in his place and in the next place. One day, Joinul looked for work in his place and also in the next place. But his luck did not favor him, but he was unfortunate. His luck did not favor him. He was angry, angry with everybody. He became angry. He became angry with everybody. When he was back home, when he came back home, Nazma failed to serve his meal. His wife Nazma failed to serve his meal. That made him shout at Nazma. And for this reason, he shouted at Nazma. I had a severe headache and a fever, said Nazma. And Nazma said that she had a severe headache and a fever. Joinul was trembling with anger. Joinul, he was trembling with anger. The cooking is almost done. Wash your hands and feet. I will bring the food soon, she said. What do you do the whole day at home? Joinul asked Nazma what she did 
at home the whole day. I work and earn money to run the family. Joinul said that he worked and earned money to run the family. You can't even cook my meals in time. And Joinul told Nazma that she couldn't even cook his meal in time. In replay, Nazma says that I don't earn money, but I also run the family. In replay, Nazma said that she didn't earn money, but she also looked after the family. I do all the work at home. She does all the work at home, like cooking, cleaning, washing, husking, taking care of the children, everything, said Nazma. And you can see Nazma does a lot of work, like cooking, cleaning, washing, husking, taking care of children, and many other things. Remember, you work for money, but my work in the home can make the family stick together and make it happy. And Nazma tells Joinul to remember that both type of work is important. Never before has Joinul thought about these things. But Joinul has never thought about these things before. He feels guilty. Now Joinul feels guilty. Never before has he looked at Nazma with so much admiration and gratitude. And she, Joinul looks at Nazma with much admiration and gratitude. He has understood that Nazma does a lot of work. So dear students, this is the passage. In this passage, we can see that Nazma and Joinul are quarreling. It is clear that Joinul, one day Joinul went out to look for work. He looked for work in his place, also in his next place, but he did not find his, any work. When he came back, his wife Nazma failed to serve his meal in time. It made him more angry. He shouted at Nazma and in reply Nazma said that she had a severe headache and a fever, but Joinul was trembling with anger. Nazma told, her, uh, told Joinul that the cooking is almost done. She told him to wash his hands and feet and she would bring the food soon. And uh, Joinul uh, couldn't believe that. He said that it would take ages. And Joinul also asked Nazma what she did remaining home all day long. He also said that he earned money to run the family. But Nazma was unable to cook his meal in time. But in replay, Nazma says that he does not earn money, but he does all the work in the family. He does the work of cooking, cleaning, washing, husking, taking care of children, everything else at home. She also tells Joinul to remember that he works for money, but her work in the home can make the family stick together and it makes their family happy. So both types of work are equally important. And never before Joinul has thought about these things. And now Joinul feels guilty. And never before has he looked at Nazma with so much admiration and gratitude. And now Joinul appreciates her work. And now Joinul shows his gratitude to Nazma. So dear students, now we will do some exercise from this lesson. You can see some multiple choice questions here. Read the text again and tick the best answer. To answer these questions, you have to read the text again and then you have to answer it. First one, Joinul was angry with everybody because number one, he was looking for work in his place and in the next place. Number B, he was hungry and Nazma could not cook food at the proper time. And number C, he did not find any work in his place 
and in the next place. So from this passage, it is clear to us that Joynul was angry with everybody because number C, he did not find any work in his place and in the next place. Number two, Joynul shouted loudly at Nazma because she could not give him food in time. She had a bad headache. She forgot to cook food in time. So dear students, can you guess the answer? Joynul shouted loudly at Nazma because she could not give him food in time. It is number A. The answer will be A. Number three, it will take ages. The underlined words mean. What do you mean by take ages? Number A, Nazma is suffering from old age. Number B, a very long time will be needed. Number C, Joinul is willing to wait long. Dear learners, can you guess the answer? Okay. Take ages means a very long time will be needed. So, the answer is number B. Number four, who should run the family? Joinul, Nazma, Joinul and Nazma. So, the answer will be number C, Joinul and Nazma. Number five, what can make a family happy? Money and housework. Work that Nazma does at home. Number C, work that Joinul does to earn the money. In the text, we have read that Nazma does all the work at home. It helps to keep the family stick together and it also helps to make the family happy. So the answer will be number B, work that Nazma does at home. Okay, let us move on to our next slide. Number six, all members in our family should do their individual work separately, live together and support each other, earn and spend money equally. So it is a very important question. All members in a family should. What will be the answer, dear students? Can you guess it? Yes, it is number B. Live together and support each other. The members of a family should live together and support each other. Number seven. What do you think Joinul should do from now? What should Joinul do from now? He should A. Work harder to earn more money. Number B. Not waste any time doing housework. Number C. Help Nazma with her work when he can. So, what should Joinul do, dear learners? Yes, Joinul should help Nazma with her work when he can. And number eight, why does Joinul finally look at Nazma with deep admiration and gratitude? Because he is not sorry for what he has done to Nazma. Number B, he has understood the value of sharing work in the family. Number C, Nazma is willing to do all the housework in the family. So dear learners, can you guess the answer? Joinul finally looks at Nazma with deep admiration and gratitude because he has understood the value of sharing work in the family. So here the answer is number B. So dear learners, I hope this lesson is clear to you. Now for your better understanding, 
I will recap the whole lesson in short. From this lesson, we see that on day, Joinul went out in search of work. He looked for work in his place and also in the next place. But he was unfortunate. He did not find any work. When he came back home, his wife, Nazma, was unable to serve his meal in time. It made him more angry. He shouted at Nazma and Nazma said that she had a uh, bad headache and a fever. And, but Joinul was trembling in anger. She said that uh, she could not uh, cook his meal in time. But Nazma told him to wash his hand and feet and she will bring the food soon. But Joinul shouted at her wildly. And Joinul asked what she does all day staying at home. Joinul also says that he works and earns money to run the family. On the other hand, Nazma cannot even cook his meal in time. In replay, Nazma says that she does not earn money, but she also runs the family. She does all the work at home, like cooking, cleaning, washing, husking, taking care of children, and everything. And Nazma also tells him to remember that he works for money, but her work in the home can make the family stick together and make it happy. So both types of work are equally important. Finally, Joinul has understood about these things. He feels guilty. He shows mass admiration and gratitude to Nazma. And we have also solved some uh, multiple choice questions there. Now, dear learners, I will give you some homework today. It is like a project work. Think of a family you know in your neighborhood. Answer the following questions and write a short composition about the family. You must answer these questions in your composition. Number one, how many members are there in the family? Number two, get each member's name, age, and work. Number three, do the family members share each other's work? Describe who shares what, where, and who with. So dear students, you must do your homework and you must show it to your class teacher or subject teacher when your school will open. And if you want to view this class again, you must go to our Facebook page or YouTube channel. If whenever you want, you can watch this class again. Dear students, that's all for today. Stay home and stay safe. Thank you all.